Good morning friends. Welcome to this video lecture series on total quality management. Today is the third lecture of the video series. In the lecture one we have studied about quality, total quality management, total quality and variability. In lecture two we have studied the eight dimension of quality and history of quality control. Today's lecture we will learn about elements of total quality management, quality planning, quality assurance and quality control. Let us start. Elements of total quality management. So there are total 10 elements of total quality management which are customer focus, employee involvement, continuous improvements, leader responsibility, management commitment to quality, addressing deficiencies, quality measurement, benchmarking, value improvements and training. The first one is customer focus. So there are basically two types of customer for a company which are external and internal. The external customer are the persons who buy the product and internal customer for the company are the persons who deliver the raw material to the company. Okay. Suppose we will take the example of mobile phone. Suppose I am buying a phone. So I am the external customer for the company and the company which are delivering the raw material are internal customer for the company. So in order to implement the total quality management, company should focus on external and internal customers requirements. The second one is employee involvement. So there are different labels of employee which are working on the company like in a college. I am as a professor, student, TAs, department heads, dean, directors, HR. So these all are the different label of the employees who are working in a company. So in order to implement the TKM, all the employees should involve in the company's improvement. The third one is continuous improvements. It means there is a beginning but no end. That means to improve the quality of the product you should improve continuously. That means we will start from first then we will recheck it again then we will again recheck it then you will check the product then you will again recheck it. Okay. So this way the improvement should be there. There should be a continuous improvement. The fourth one is Leader responsibility. Any leader who are working in a company should focus on quality into the product, not on the inspection. Okay. So, if you are making a product, the leader should focus on the quality which are getting into the product, not on the inspection method. Okay. The fifth one is management commitment to quality. So, in order to implement the TQM, the top level management who are working in the company should focus on the quality. They should have 100% involvement in the quality. The sixth one is addressing deficiencies. This means prevention is better than detection. This means quality should be enabled into the manufacturing process, not in the inspection methods. The seventh one is Quality measurement. This means where we are and where we are going at different quality levels. Okay. So suppose we have make a product, then you will check its qualities. Okay. And at which level the quality is. Then you will improve it from that particular level. Okay. So it is a continuous process. Eighth one is benchmarking. So this means test your quality as per the benchmarking result then improve accordingly. Okay. Company can check the quality of its product with the product which is being manufactured by the second company. Okay. And then improve accordingly. The second last one is value improvements. This means ability to meet customer satisfaction while cutting excess expenses. Okay. So you should focus on the customer requirement, customer satisfaction and also work on reducing the excess expenses which are being occurred while making the product. The last one is training. You should continuously provide training for continuous improvement to the employees who are working in the company. So here we have covered the 10 elements of total quality management. Now quality planning. It is a strategic activity which can help in saving the amount of time getting consumed in production and also reducing the manufacturing waste, reducing the manufacturing defects and also reducing the customer complaints. 
Quality planning is a combination of all of the activities which will help you in reducing the time, reducing the customer complaints, reducing the manufacturing defects, and also reducing the manufacturing waste. Helps in identifying the internal and external customer and listening to their requirements, or also can be said as voice of the customer VOC. So quality planning deals with satisfying the internal and external customer requirements. It also helps in developing the product which exceeds the customer satisfaction. Quality Assurance Quality Assurance is a set of activities which ensures quality of the product and services are maintained. It also ensures customer and supplier issues are resolved. So by ensuring the quality of the product and services are maintained, and by resolving the customer and supplier issues, quality can be assured. The next one is quality control and quality improvement. It is a set of activities which ensures requirements of the product and services are met. So it is a set of activities which also use statistical techniques like statistical process control chart and design of experiment. DOE stands for design of experiments okay, to reduce the variability. Variability we have learned in the first lecture. This means difference in the size of the product made by company. Okay, that means if company one is making ten products and every product has a different size, that means the variability for that company is large. Okay, quality control and improvement is based to ensure the requirement of the product and services are met and also to reduce the variability by using different statistical technique and design of experiment. The next lecture we will study. 14 points of damming for quality and productivity improvement. Thank you very much. Have a good day.